I am Brendan Barber, General Secretary of the TUC from the United Kingdom. And I want to send a message of support and solidarity to the workers and the people of Egypt who over these last momentous days have spoken out with such passion in their demand for justice, for democracy, for freedom. You have the support of workers all over the world and I want to send the support certainly of the people of Britain. Sharon Burrow, the International Trade Union Confederation. Our message is one of solidarity with the independent unions and the people of Egypt. We know that you want democracy, you want independence, you want human and trade union rights, the rights of freedom, of freedom of assembly, of freedom of association, and we stand today with you in that quest. We are very, very optimistic that your courage, which is an inspiration to the world, will see your ambitions realised. The government must go. You must have the freedom to choose your own government in a genuine democracy. And for workers and the unions, we are absolutely committed to stand with you for freedom of association, the right to collective bargaining, the right to be free of discrimination, we know that there's a new world order that is uh, absolutely necessary in many, many countries, but you're leading the way. Congratulations, your courage inspires us. Hi, I'm Rich Trumpka, president of AFL-CIO. To our brothers and sisters, brave founders of the new independent union in Egypt, and to all Egyptians hungry for social justice. The 12 million members of the AFL-CIO join the International Labor Organization, the United Nations, and the global labor movement to stand in solidarity with you and all peaceful demonstrators, raising their voices and calling for a more fair and democratic Egypt. American workers have been moved by the spirit and courage of the Egyptian people. We support your demands for freedom, social justice, and respect for human dignity. We know that you face attacks, harassment, and arrest for peacefully assembling and daring to demand a better life. These attacks on peaceful protesters, independent unions, and civil society organizations must end. We demand that Egypt halt the bloody crackdown and listen to the many thousands of Egyptian men, women, and children in the streets. We've communicated this message to the highest levels of our government. The brave Egyptian people are risking everything for a more democratic future, for decent jobs and life with dignity. The international community should no longer tolerate their oppression. The American labor movement stands with the people of Egypt and its new independent unions. When the people lead, your leaders will follow. The future is on the side of democracy and social justice. And we want you to know that you're not alone. We stand in solidarity with you. Hi, my name is Olinzi Mavavi. I'm the General Secretary of the Congress of South African Trade Unions in South Africa. This is a, mes a message to the government of Egypt that it has a responsibility to protect the citizens of its country when they choose to demonstrate even against itself, democracy, freedom are not separable. Our people who are responding to their harsh conditions of not only dictatorship but also of poverty and inequalities that are growing have a right to demonstrate their anger, have a right to demonstrate their desire for freedom, for democracy and for justice. We are calling on the government of Egypt led by Mubarak for now to respect the rights of its citizens to protect them in particular against the thugs that are currently raiding the streets and undermining the rights of others to demonstrate. 
we call on them to do everything uh, on their powers to protect the citizens of their own country who have done nothing wrong except to demonstrate their anger and frustrations and that uh, the thugs must, uh, must demonstrate in their own time for their support of uh, President Mubarak if that's what they desire. But they have no right whatsoever in destroying the rights of others to demonstrate, to peacefully assemble and uh, to state their views in relation to the crisis in their country. Hi, my name is Erin Harrison Taylor. Uh, I'm from CLC Canada and I'm also the chair of the ITUC Youth Committee. I just wanted to send a message of solidarity specifically to all of the young people in Egypt for fighting for democratic change and um, taking on the battle across the country. Um, we are watching and we are in solidarity with you. Uh, we feel your struggles and we want to help in any way possible. Uh, we want to communicate with you and let you know that all of your um, hard work and tasks are being watched daily. So keep up the good work and we're in solidarity. I represent Polish trade union Solidarność and we are watching very closely the latest events in Egypt. We hope that they will develop into more democracy, respect for uh, international labour standards and respect for human rights. We believe that trade unions uh, will play a crucial role in the, those developments and they will contribute into the development of a democratic civil society. Jag vill säga till er, folket i Egypten, att vi är med er i er kamp för mänskliga och fackliga rättigheter. Vi är med er i den solidariska kampen för demokrati. Var helst människor lever i världen har man rätt till sin egen frihet, rätt till demokrati. Vi är med er. Stark solidaritet med er, folket i Egypten. Je suis Maudit Guirop, secrétaire général de la Confédération nationale des travail du Sénégal, président de la CIC Afrique. Euh, je voudrais apporter toute ma solidarité et mon soutien aux travailleuses et aux travailleuses d'Égypte face à l'épreuve qu'ils sont en train de traverser euh, devant une répression féroce exercée sur les travailleurs par le gouvernement d'Égypte face à des travailleurs qui ne font que revendiquer des droits pour plus de liberté, de démocratie et de justice sociale pour une Égypte libre, indépendante et prospère. Nous sommes donc inquiets par cette répression que nous condamnons avec fermeté et demandons au gouvernement égyptien le respect des libertés, le respect des droits fondamentaux au travail, le respect des travaux à l'expression libre et démocratique. Enfin, nous demandons également qu'il y ait une volonté réelle politique d'instaurer dans en Égypte une démocratie pleine et entière où tous les travailleurs et les travailleurs se retrouvent et peuvent s'exprimer librement. 私は日本の労働組合のナショナルセンターの会長を務めております小賀でございます今エジプトで起きていることに極めて心配をしております多くの死傷者が出てまたその死傷者そのものが非常に大きな出来事の渦の中に巻き込まれようとしていますいかなることがあっても暴力、武力による人に対する対応があってはなりませんその意味では反政府行動が政府の弾圧によってさまざまな世界に発信がされていることに大きな危惧を持つものです政府は民主主義そして人権あるいは労働組合権をきちっと守るよう私たちは強く求めるものです私ども日本の労働者も全員で皆さん方労働,労働者の運動を支援してまいりたいと思いますぜひ頑張ってください以上です My name is Mong Mao. I'm from Burma, from Southeast Asia We have been struggling against the military regime in our country for the last 30 years we still haven't won the fight, but we are very encouraged to see the activities taking up in Egypt. And we pray and we hope that all of you win 
for democracy in your country and that we support you all, all along and we, we hope that uh, there's a bigger chance of development in the Middle East. Der österreichische Gewerkschaftsbund und seine Mitglieder und seine Gewerkschaften sind zutiefst besorgt über die Vorkommnisse, die derzeit in Ägypten passieren und über die Informationen, die wir über die Medien bekommen. Wir als Gewerkschaften in Österreich unterstützen natürlich das Beschreiben des ägyptischen Volkes nach Demokratie und Freiheit und vor allem nach Einhaltung der Menschenrechte und wir sind natürlich solidarisch mit all jenen, die jetzt für diese demokratischen Rechte demonstrieren und auf die Straße gehen. I'm Li Chaktian, General Secretary of the Hong Kong Confederation of Trade Unions. I remember in 1989, uh, I was in Tiananmen Square witnessing the tank rolling into Tiananmen Square and shooting at its people. Uh, this was the saddest time in my life and I hope this won't happen in Egypt. And for after 21 years since Tiananmen Square, China had no democracy and human rights respect yet. So we hope that this time for Egypt, you make it. We hope that Egypt can go on the way of open society and democracy. And uh, this is, uh, that Egyptian people deserve it. And also the world is watching and we support you in your struggle. Euh, bonjour, je suis Benoît Constant, responsable national des jeunes CSC, vice-président du comité des jeunes de la CSI. Et euh, bah, je voulais apporter euh, tout mon soutien euh, aux jeunes égyptiens qui sont dans la rue euh, aujourd'hui, cette semaine, et j'espère encore demain. Et euh, j'espère pour eux euh, qu'ils arriveront à leur fin. Voilà, euh, tout notre soutien d'ici de la Belgique. Oui, donc euh, en tant que membre, en tant que travailleuse d'abord, et membre du Conseil Général de la CSI, je ne peux que soutenir le soulèvement de, de, des milliers de femmes et des, et des hommes, des travailleuses et travailleurs, entre autres, dans leur quête pour la démocratie. Euh, on ne peut que les soutenir parce qu'il n'y a pas de droit, au travail, de, de droit de travailleurs et de droit à la liberté syndicale sans de véritables droits humains sans la démocratie. Donc euh, il, faut, il faut soutenir les, les, les Égyptiens dans leur quête de, de démocratie et il faut que le changement intervienne le plus tôt possible. للأسف ما يحدث اليوم في مصر هو مؤلم جدا حيث أن مصر تعتبر أكبر دولة عربية ولكن ما يشعر به العمال والشعب من قهر واضطهاد وأيضا عدم وجود وظائف عمل وبطالة مدقعة وفقر عالي المستوى وعدم وجود عمل لائق كل ذلك يعني أجبر الشباب بأن يكونوا في الشارع من أجل أن يكون لهم قوانين تضمن حقوقهم الاجتماعية وحقوقهم الديمقراطية فهذه وهذا ما يحدث في مصر من إشعاع على الديمقراطية هو في أمل كل شاب وكل إنسان عربي من أجل التغيير من أجل الأفضل لصالح هذه الشعوب فكم كنا نتمنى بأن تكون هناك يعني نظم ديمقراطية من أجل إقرار حق الشعوب في التكيف في العيش والتكيف أيضا في إيجاد كل ما يطمح له العامل فلذلك يعني نحن نأمل بأن تتوج هذه الانتفاضة انتفاضة مصر للأفضل والأحسن ولصالح شعوبهم وصالح ما يسعوا له من طموح ويحقق الأمن والاستقرار للشعوب الشعب المصري كلنا مع مصر وكلنا نأمل بأن تخرج مصر من محنتها الكبيرة. I'm from the Caribbean, Barbados exactly. There we have independent trade unions. They have worked with employers and with the governments in our region, and we have been able to have development because the trade union movement has effectively contributed to building the nation. We are alarmed at that independent trade unions in Egypt have not been allowed to function. We regret the consequences therefrom in the loss of lives and the brutality which the reports indicate. And we are most regretful that this has become necessary. 
we ask the world, the democratic world, we ask the people in Egypt at the management level to recognize the need for true democracy and the freedom of all people. We urge that in this particular time, cooler heads will prevail and that the rights of persons peacefully to assemble and to express their concerns about their needs as a people, that these will be respected and that the people's wishes will come about without the attempt by anyone to cause them injury to life, to limb, or in fact, to their liberty. Hi, I'm Felix Anthony. I'm the National Secretary of the Fiji Trade Union Congress. We wish to state our solidarity and best wishes to the workers of Egypt and the people of Egypt uh, in these difficult times. And we look forward to a democratic and democratic Egypt and one that respects human and trade union rights. My name is Agnes Jongeris, I'm the president of the Dutch Trade Union Confederation FNV. I'm also president of the Human and Trade Union Rights Committee of the ITUC. And during these meetings in the last few days, we got more and more worrying stories about the situation in Egypt. And I'd like to say from here, as I said to our Prime Minister in the Netherlands, Please protect the people of Egypt, protect human and trade union rights, protect the independent trade unions because their struggle is a very important struggle for their own people but for the workers in the world as a whole also.